Okay, hey guys, so today I am going to be doing um, a getting ready with me video and I'm gonna be talking through, I actually tried to do one of these the last time I went out and my mic was off or cut out halfway through, the battery died. So I'm gonna be doing a new one and <clears throat> for this today, I don't exactly know what look I'm doing as usual, but I pretty much have an idea. All I know is I do wanna wear a red lip. So I have five, one, two, three, four, wait. One, two, three, four, six to choose from. So I'll decide that at the end of the video. Um, I did post a picture on Instagram of all of my red lipsticks and for you guys to pick one. Um, and then I narrowed it down to six out of like, I forgot how many I swatched on my arm. You can still kind of see the swatches on my arm. But let's just hop into it. First, I'm gonna try out this mask. Some of this, most of the stuff that I'm using I have used before. Um, I've already cleansed my face, showered, moisturized, all that kind of stuff. But I'm gonna be trying this primer mask. It's from Sephora. Uh, I'm gonna be trying it. I never had it. I bought two of them. And I'm gonna try it out. So, it looks like that. Like, it says pink version. <laughs> Cotton fiber mask is what it's called. Five in one makeup primer. What are the five? Oh, okay, moisturize, brightens, blurs, evens out, sets makeup. Okay, we gonna see. I'm ready for makeup, so we're gonna do this, and I'll be back in three minutes. I really don't wanna sit through and try to talk three minutes with this thing on my face, so I'll be back in um three minutes. I look like Jason. This random thought. All right, I'll be back in three. Okay, so three minutes is up. And I'm gonna take this off. I'm just gonna peel down. And. Okay. I'm just gonna kind of rub in the excess, like so. Now I'm gonna work, I'm actually gonna work on my eyebrows off camera like I always do. Um, if you guys wanna see my easy eyebrow routine, I will have that linked in the cards, which I think it's over here. Um, if not, it's over there. But I'm gonna link it um, so you guys can check it out. I'm not gonna do them on, on camera because it usually takes me a really long time. And since I'm doing a talk through anyway, this video is already gonna be long, so I don't wanna make it even longer. So I'm gonna be back after I do my brows and then I'll jump into the getting ready with me and you know, catch up with you guys okay so I'm back from doing my brows so they aren't completely finished yet but as far as the basics they're done um, I'm gonna come back to them later once I get my foundation on um, before I start working on my eyes like I said I don't exactly know what I'm doing um, I'm just going to prime a little bit more I'm gonna use my pure hydrogel lift and I use this under my eyes all the time. I've already applied like my normal eye cream um, that I normally use, but I use like to use this before I do my makeup as well. Kind of like a under eye primer almost. So like I said, I don't quite know what look I'm doing. I have some of my favorite palettes from Juvia's Place here. I have the Warrior 2, the Saharan 2, and the Warrior 1 palette that I'm kind of going to be working off of. Um, I'm just going to kind of have all of them open um, and kind of working from there. Um, I kind of just look through some of my palettes and um, I'm kind of just going to go with whatever shade is speaking to me at the moment. Um, I love, these are like my three favorites, um, especially like just for like simple looks. Um, I like those and I'm just thinking about what I'm wearing and the fact that I want to wear red lip as I'm doing this. So... Just bear with me as I figure out what exactly as I'm and I'm gonna be doing. Oh, I haven't used that shade. Okay, I might use Benin. Hmm. Morning. Okay. All right. Let's start this process. <laughs> All right. So first, I'm gonna be going into the Warrior palette. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Kano, which is this shade right here. And I'm gonna go in with my Morphe brush. I'm pretty much gonna be using all Morphe brushes, I believe, um, today. And 
This is the M441 brush, and I'm just going to be applying that to my transition area just to, oh. Wait a second. Wait a second. Before I do that, let me prime my eyelids. I'm going to use the Born This Way concealer. I think I'm just going to use chestnut. It really doesn't matter. It's really just to get rid of any kind of discoloration. Doesn't matter what concealer you use, honestly. Um, or like what tone of it, I guess. And I like, I do like the Born This One, Born This Way concealer for this. And I'm just gonna apply that to my lid, just to blend that out and give it any discoloration. I almost forgot about that. Can you believe me? Out here bugging. All right, okay, so I have an hour to do my makeup, so let's try and. Let's try and get it done like 45 minutes. I mean, this video isn't going to be 45 minutes, but because probably by the time I edit it down and stuff. But okay, so I have it on. I'm not going to set it with anything. But like I said, I'm going to go on with Kano from the Warrior palette. I'm not going to pick these up each time, but I'll just tell you what palette I'm working out of. But I'm going to go on with Kano and I'm just going to apply that as my transition shade um, very heavily. I usually like my transition area to be very blown out because I feel like I have a lot of space in between that lid and brow bone area so I usually like to bring it pretty high up and just not messily apply it but messily apply it and then what I like to do if I want like a little bit more color is I pack it on first like so so that it builds the color up before I start blending so I'll do that and then go back and do windshield wiper motions just so that color is really 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 shows up so I, I usually like my transition color to stay pretty um, visible so to speak okay so boom I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other eye I hate that okay so not much has been going on guys so I don't know if you guys are following me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter um, but I did release my ebook um, back in ooh, what is it, March I think I released my ebook back in March I released it in March it's doing really well you guys should definitely check it out if you haven't already it's only $2.99 and it's in my Total Diva Ray shop um, online and I email it to you um, once you make your purchase it usually you know usually give me about 10 to 12 hours to email it to you guys okay because this is a one woman show um so but I um that came out so that was really awesome and I was super excited about that when it came out I've been working on it for about a year and a half it's not a long book it's a quick read just some real you know easy easy tips things that I've talked about here on my channel but I feel like it's just some more um, centered and just around you know you don't have to go looking for it as hard um, to get the information through these questions that I get a lot of questions on um, or things that I get a lot of questions on um, I found it was a really really good good um, way of doing that excuse me next I'm gonna go into my warrior 2 palette and I'm gonna take this shade Kufuru um, this shade right here and I'm just going to use that just to deepen up my crease a little bit. I'm going to put it like kind of like, hmm, like this outer V crease area. I'm going to kind of do that. And I'm just going to go in with the Morphe M456 brush. So I'm kind of going to, actually, I'm going to pack it on like this on the outer, like that first. And then I'm going to kind of sweep it up like that and just bring it into that outer that outer area and I don't really know if I want to do a cut crease or not I've been loving those um, so I'm not bringing this color like all the way in I'm just kind of bringing it in up like one third of the way in but also keeping it very focused on that outer edge like that I'm probably gonna do a cut crease because I just like how it looks. Okay, so we got that. Um, so yeah, so that's all that's really been going on as far as like things I have that have gone on within the past um, month or so, month or two months. Um, 
a lot of personal things going on um, that I, I don't really talk about on my channel, honestly, because, like, my channel isn't, like, a lifestyle or, like, not lifestyle channel, but, like, vlogging channel. Um, so I haven't really talked about any personal things. Um, if you guys want me to do a QA, and a I will do one. Um, just, you know, leave your questions down below with this video and then I'll, you know, look at the questions and see if I'm open to doing it. Um, but if it's something that you guys are interested in me doing, um, definitely post your questions, you know, in this video or, you know, I'll go through some of my other video comments for the past, you know, few months and kind of tally those together and possibly do a Q&A. And I'm just blending this out um, with the original brush that I was using. Um, I'm not doing too much deep in my crease because I just don't want it to be a really dark look, even though I am going out to dinner with friends. I don't want it to be really dark yet. Um, I'm kind of building, working up to that. Um, next, I'm going to go into this other shade. It's called Jamata. Um, it's kind of like a reddish shade in the Warrior 2 palette. I'm going to go with this very, very lightly, and I'm just going to kind of apply it right underneath that transition shade but above that outer V shade and I'm going to bring it not all the way in but kind of like two thirds of the way just a little past that brown just to bring a little redness to this not too much very very soft and I'm using a very light hand and this is the Morphe 433 brush that I'm doing this with and like I said, if you want this color to be more, you can like pat it on. You can, but I don't want it to be harsh at all. I want it to be very, very soft. So we're just gonna just kind of keep that in that area. Other the projects that I am working on, I haven't really discussed. I find that when I don't discuss them, um, things just, I don't know, just kind of flow better. Um, so I haven't really been talking about them. My earring line, I talked about that a while ago. That is going to be coming out before the end of the summer, hopefully, and it will. Everything that I do is pretty much going to be available on my Total Diva Ray shop website. Um, but that's going to be coming out. I have a, a hair and body butter coming out and my milk and honey um, soaps coming out as well. So those are all going to be things just to look, you know, keep an eye out for on my website um, between now and the fall. Um, I really want to start working on that. I'm going to go on with the other concealer. This is Maple by Too Faced and I'm going to use this shade to cut my crease and you guys, if you guys saw my previous video, you guys saw how I cut my crease for the most part. Just that little trick, but I don't want it too basic. I just kind of pat it. Um, so yeah, so those are some things that I'm working on and like as things are released, I do post them on my Instagram. Um, Twitter and things like that definitely on Instagram so if you guys you know want to keep up on like things that I have going on or whatever definitely keep follow me on Instagram because that's usually where I you know update and things like that especially in the next coming months I'm going to be doing a lot more posting and a lot more you know just consistency I did it I was very consistent one year I think 2016 or 17 and it was just very difficult honestly it was it was difficult because as consistent as I was the platform just wasn't consistent so I took a lot of my stuff off of YouTube and I started my patreon and all this kind of things and I just still always wanted to be back on YouTube so I'm trying to be back on YouTube um, more consistently and reach out to you guys um, so next I'm gonna go in with Bakwa I think yeah, I'm gonna go. I used Adida before. Um, sorry, let me look through these palettes. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this shade, Benin, in the Warrior palette. I'm gonna use that in on my lid. And we're gonna see how that works. I feel like I always do a gold. Um, yeah, let's go with this. And we're just going to pack it on. And you got to make sure, like, get into the shade. Don't just, like, no, you got to work it in there, get it in there. 
stop playing with these eyeshadows and saying they aren't pigmented. Like, pick it up on your brush, guys. Just pick it up. So, just gonna apply that. So, I don't wanna, like, blab too much about things. I just kinda wanna keep it focused on the look. But I did wanna mention those things to you guys because I feel like I don't get to talk to you guys and tell you about things I have going on. And since I haven't been on um, Instagram posting as often, because I, I don't know, I feel like I hate when Instagram comes like a, what do you call it, like a newspaper or something, like it's an ad, it's always an ad, an ad, an ad, which I get it, everybody's got bills to pay, and I guess you gotta play the game, but I just hate when I'm scrolling through and everything's like ad, 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 like if I wanted an ad, you know, like, just like I pay for YouTube Premium so I don't have to watch the ads on everybody's videos, which, I mean, I guess since... Instagram is free, you know you gotta take it as it is, but you know, I don't want everything that I see to be an ad, so I guess I don't wanna be the person posting ads all the time, but at the same time, you know, everybody has to get their name out there, so I get it. So, you know, I'm definitely gonna be posting a lot more and just, like I said, keeping up with you guys a lot more, cause I feel like I'm on and off with that and I apologize, but work full time, I'm a mom full time, you know things get in the way and YouTube like I said before and previous isn't my you know my uh, bread and butter so to speak so it's more like the readers I don't know like it's literally just like you know just it's just here which is fine I get it but you know that's why I haven't really been on like that okay this this is work this can work I'm gonna go in and blend this out a little bit with that shade, I'm gonna use um, Kano again and just kind of blend out above it. And I kind of like to just take my brush almost like I'm pushing down and just blend it out a little bit. So it's not so harsh, it's a little bit softer. Just go back and forth, not too much because sometimes when you use a shimmer and then you're in a matte and then your shimmer ends up blending in with it and that's not what I want. I don't want my shimmer to blend in with my matte shades. And I'm just gonna send it downward like yeah. Almost like you're cleaning it up with concealer. You know what I mean? Now I'm gonna go back in with that two four five six brush with an in the same shade Kufuru. And I'm just gonna kinda sweep it in and just really get that outer outer V together. Just so that it looks more intentional now. Just like that, very soft and just, and you can go back and forth so that the shades and they connect kind of like, creates like a, a thing. And then sometimes if I find like there's too much shimmer that got in there, I'll go back in and just kind of dab dab on top so that's kind of good for the the lids right now I'm gonna go in with my liquid liner I'm going to use my MYX matte liquid liner in black and I haven't used this liner in a minute but I'm gonna do this off camera because I just don't know how to apply liner and talk at the same time and I don't want to kill myself okay so I applied my liner um, did as best as I could Spazzy is like I'm sweating and it's like I don't understand. I'm sweating. I, I don't understand. I don't like it. It's gross. So I'm gonna start working on the skin now because it's my favorite part, and then we'll come back to the eyes in a second. I'm gonna go in with my since I already applied that other primer, I'm not gonna apply like I usually would apply my Too Faced Hangover Primer, but I'm not gonna use that today since I use that primer mask. But I am still gonna use the Too Faced Primed and Poreless just around this area on my face because that's usually where my pores are very visible. To start working, I'm gonna be going in with my Ellie Girl Pro Conceal first. I'm gonna use this around my mouth and a little bit in the inner parts of my eyes and I choose because I feel like sometimes when I apply don't apply this around my wife around my mouth I feel like I have look like I have a little mustache or something. So yeah we're just gonna apply a little bit there. Alright, 
So now I'm going to go in with my black opal finishing powder in dark and I'm going to kind of set my T-zone and also some of those correcting areas like especially around my mouth. I'm going to kind of just apply that just as a little extra coverage so I don't have to use a lot of foundation but I'm definitely I like applying it right here on my cheeks. Um, definitely on my nose because my nose, I swear to you, will get oily in like 10 minutes. It doesn't matter how much primer, how much blotting. My nose, girl, is a troublemaker. Like, okay, I'm gonna do that. Oh, I'm gonna do a little bit on my chin. I'm gonna do it around my mouth if I can get her together. I did order, so I don't know if you guys remember, I did the Beauty Bakery review with their powders and their foundation. So they came out with a couple of new like tone powders. So I picked up, um, I guess like the like the darker yellow one and then a more neutral brown setting powder as opposed to the other one was really, really warm. I did pick those up, so I'm definitely ready to try those out and see how those work. Um, I did want to pick up some of the Makeup Revolution um, foundations and concealers. And I saw it at my Ulta over here and I think I'm going to pick it up. I, it was only like, I think their foundations are like 10 bucks and their concealers are like 7 You guys know I'm like a foundation whore, so to speak, but you know, who isn't? Okay, so now that... That is good. My skin's looking pretty good already. But I'm going to go on my foundation. I'm going to use the Born This Way Too Faced Foundation. And I'm using the shade Chai and Spice Rum. I'm actually not going to mix this on the back of my hands. I'm going to use my e.l.f. mixing palette because I don't need any more. I'm going to use two pumps of, what is this, Spice to Rum. And maybe like one and a half pumps of Chai. There. I'm just going to blend that out. I'm going to use a beauty blender. The past few times that I tried this foundation, I used a brush. My, my verdict on what I think about this foundation is still out. I just, I have like good days and I have bad moments. I really, really enjoy the concealer. The foundation is just that I don't know yet. <laughs> so, the past, like, the other times I did use it, I used a brush. So this time I'm going to use a sponge and see how, if I like this better. So sorry, you're gonna see the little blinds. I need curtains in here, but anybody got time for that right now either. Um, so next I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I'm using chestnut and maple. I may just use maple, let's see. I may just use maple. Yeah, I think I may just use maple. Actually, I'm gonna use both. I'm going to use maple kind of like really in the inner area here. And then I'm going to take chestnut because chestnut is like kind of close to my skin tone but just a little bit off. I'm just going to apply that. I'm going to mix it in with maple and then bring it out. Oh, it's not my skin tone. It's just like a little, not my skin tone, just a little off in the, the tone. But I do like them together. So now, I want to set this really, really quickly. This is a combination of my Ben Nye Banana Powder in Topaz and Banana um, together. And I, it gets like the perfect kind of shade that I like. Um, so I'm going to go in really quickly. I'm going to use my Morphe E48 brush. And I, and I, really, really quickly. You guys can't understand what I was doing with my mouth open. I was doing that really, really quickly. Just get that under eye and then I can finish the rest. Okay. 
And same thing, forehead, chin, also on here, this is a place where I get, I get really bad smile lines because I laugh a lot and very loudly, so my mouth is usually, so you see all of that, so you set that, and let's just powder her up. This is actually be a decent powder for all over my face too, but I like to set my face with the brown powder, so I'm not going to use this to set all of my face, but alright, we're going to let some of that sit for a while, and I'm just going to go back to the eyes really quickly. Sorry I'm going to be talking fast because I actually need to hurry the hell up. Um, I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. No Budge Liner. This is like my favorite liner right now. It's super smooth, super soft, and I'm just going to line my waterline, bring the eyes together really quickly. I'm just going to go into Kano and apply that very, very close to my lash line underneath, right under here. And I'm going to take the Morphe 431 brush and I blow it out a little bit. And you would think all this time that I have been sitting here, I would have decided on which of the six red lipsticks I'm going to wear. Nope, still haven't decided. I'm, I'm between two, but I don't know. I'm going to eat, so I'm taking that into consideration. Who knows? Okay, so I'm just gonna take my same E48 brush and blend out that powder. Scatter. I'm gonna wait on so mascara. I'm not gonna contour with any liquid. Um, so I'm going to go in with my Iman pressed powder and I'm going to set my face. I'm going to use my Morphe 527. Um, I want to find another powder brush because this one reminds me more of a bronzer type of brush. And But I've been using it because it's just the biggest one that I have. But if you guys know um, which Morphe brush is a really good powder brush, let me know so I can pick it up contour palette in I think this is the medium dark one yeah medium dark one they do have another one that's darker than this if you're darker than me and I'm just going to contour I kind of use this as a contour and a bronzer because I haven't found like a really great bronzer that I'm so I just use this as both I feel like it does the job for both And then I'm going to actually use the shade Sculpt. And actually, no, I'm not. I'm lying. No, I ain't. I ain't going to do that. I'm going to go into my Warrior. What is this? Warrior palette. And I'm just going to use this teeny, teeny brush. No, not that little. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah, whatever. Five... 152 brush and I'm going to go in with um, a Hosey and I'm just going to use that as my brow bone highlight. So just a really pale, pale pinky beige shade. I'm just going to press it on there really lightly. Just right at the tip to the end. And then for my blush, I knew I was going to use this one as my blush. This is why I really pulled this palette out. This is the Saharan 2 palette and I'm actually going to use this shade right here. This red shade. So pretty. Love it. I'm just going to take it very lightly tap off the excess because this shade is so pigmented and I'm just going to kind of like do that. Like you guys can already see that and I barely tapped my brush but and I, I love this color as a brush but it's just so pigmented it's very easy to get carried away. So I'm just going to kind of blend that out and I'm going to go back in with my powder brush, my sponge and yeah, see, see how that looks. I'm just gonna go back in with my foundation brush and blend that out so it's not like hella, hella, you know, a mess. All right, boom, love that brush. Blush, so pretty. And then now I need an inner tear duct highlight. Um, Amina, which is this first shade in the Warrior palette. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit. I'm not going to apply any highlight. 
like face highlight I'm just not in the mood for that today and I had all of them laid out here like I was gonna wear them but honestly I just don't have time and I want to get to um, fixing my hair because that's gonna take quite some time and it's already 430 and my hair is probably gonna take me 30 minutes and I need to be done by 5 o'clock so, so I'm just gonna apply that to the air today it's nice and soft it kind of it's almost like a lighter I don't know a lighter version of the shade that I used on my lid kinda, it's very seamless together so I like that okay so one more time I'm going to blend everything together with my powder brush I didn't apply any more product I'm just making sure everything feels nice matte and dry and I'm just gonna set my face I'm gonna use first use my hangover primer setting spray actually I think this is gonna be the only one that I use this is by Too Faced And now I'm going to apply my mascara. I always apply my mascara most of the time last. Um, so I kind of finished my hair. I'm probably going to like stretch it out a little bit more. But I wanted to hurry up and come through. And my hair is looking really good. I'm not a big fan of how it feels because I know that I used too much product. Um, but... It looks really good. It looks pretty. And this is, so I did my hair Thursday night, Friday. So this is like day two of my hair. Um, and I really like how it looks. I actually stretched it out a lot more than I usually would, but I'm loving it. Um, nonetheless, so, okay, so these are the six lipsticks that I had to choose from. They're all red, some shade of red. Um, I guess I'll show you this. This one is Saigon by ColourPop. This is with the ColourPop and Karuchi. I've never worn this one. This is the only reason why I kept this one because I haven't actually worn this one yet and I'm thinking I might wear this. I'm loving, I think how I like how it looks on my shirt. So this is an option. And then I have two from Juvia's Place. One is Afrique and the other one is Lulu. Um, you get, I love both of them though. I've worn both of these before, but they are two of my favorite red liquid lipsticks. Um, I just don't know since I've already worn it. The other one is, uh, what is this? Color Rain, um, Cherry Blossom. This is like a classic, like just hands down the most beautiful red on the lips ever. Um, again, one of my favorites. I love red lipsticks in general. I hate just saying my favorites. I love red lipsticks in general. I feel like I keep saying that about everything when I pick up, but, um, this is Cherry Blossom by Color Rain. I love this one. I love the staying power on this one. Um, yeah, I just don't know if I want to wear it. <laughs> and then this one is by ColourPop in the collab with Ellery. This is Renman. Um, I don't remember if I've ever worn this one. Um, I'm not sure. That's why I pulled it out. But I do, I'm kind of feeling the vibes with the shirt. Like these two by ColourPop. Like, um, the Karuchi one, which is this one, and the Ellery one. I'm just feeling them. And then last one. Oh. Last one, this is AJ Crimson. This is a little bit deeper, but this is Ruby Who. I love AJ Crimson liquid lipsticks. I literally wish he would come out with more shades. The staying power on these are phenomenal. Oh my God. I love this one, but I'm thinking it's a little bit too dark. So yeah. I'm trying to stay up on you because somebody's canceling dinner plans and I'm like hold up I just finished I literally just put this all together like what just what just happened like they better not be canceling dinner plans anyway I think I'm gonna use Saigon I think I'm gonna go with Saigon I'm gonna go with Saigon I'm just gonna do it just gonna do it I'm gonna go with Saigon so first I'm gonna line my lips I'm gonna line my lips with the matte lip pencil in chestnut mm, and I already have um some lip balm on um, so I'm just gonna line my lips and do you guys remember these earrings like when they first came out they were so like 2008 2009 maybe seven I don't know I forgot who started them but I have a whole bunch of them and I'm like I'm bringing these back out this summer like love these these are like my favorites they're still my favorites I love like these chain earrings so I pulled it out I'm like on my Rocker girl ish tonight. 
Okay, then I'm gonna go in with the shade. Fingers crossed that it looks good. Okay. It's kind of giving me hot red vibes. Like not red red, but like a hot red. Like neon red. Not bad. Mm. She's fabulous. So let's see who's running late. Okay, so that is it for the finished look, guys. This kind of reminds me of an Instagram post that I did a year ago. I had on the same shirt. I'm going to insert it here. My hair was, like, pretty much almost similar, but I think it was, like, to one side instead of a middle part. But I really feel like this is giving me the, the vibe from that that look. I'm going to insert that picture if I can find it on Instagram. Um, but I'm loving everything, how it came in. So I love how my hair turned out. Um, I don't, I didn't do a wash and go video on this wash and go because it was kind of like a test. Um, I do like it, but I know I used a lot of a certain product and I'm going to try and go back and do it again, um, using less of the product. I always have a little issue with this product. Um, and I'll mention it when I do do a video on it. I just don't want to like tell you guys right now because you know it's a working progress so nonetheless i love the makeup i love the hair i love my outfits the getting ready with me i hope you guys enjoyed this getting ready with me talk through i didn't go through to, to a lot of updates and things like that just because i really wanted to focus it on the makeup i will come back and do a update video maybe tonight if i come home and i don't have any company i will come back and film a update video and tell you guys of some things that i'm working on and or more detail into the things that I'm working on and things like that. I will try and do that. If not, I will do it another day. Um, I'm going to have a lot more free time coming up really, really soon. So I will definitely have more videos out for you guys. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.